West Coast Beer Geek wants to know, how can efficiency and creativity better work together? They will be inefficient into the time and space you give them, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> uh, one the, I mean, I was a creative a long time, and then I became the boss of the creatives, and I knew how much fat was built into their writer's block and their, um, <laughs> you know, thinking and everything. And, uh, the zen uh, they and, needed. And, 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 and having come out of the Get Associated the Press, where you had to pr turn out seven, eight stories a, a, a day, I, I knew that the creativity expanded into that space. And, of course, you got to be creative. And creatives need sort of time to decompress and so forth. But I, I would give them a little bit too much much, uh, it, it, or maybe not we in general, but it, it is easy to listen to them moan and groan about needing more, uh, and so creatives can be efficient. Uh, hey, well, to, to get efficiency, you got to be creative, and you got to have creative people, and, and efficiency does, does it mean some guy, a woman in a hole, driving every day, it means people that are thinking of new ways to do things, coming up with incremental improvements, making things better every day. Finding a better way every day takes a thinking headset and you want that mentality in your company you want the whole company to be thinking about every day what is a better way of doing what I'm doing now yeah I'm a big fan of betting on your strengths and and also really recognizing putting players in the best position to succeed if and we have nothing but creatives here of the 500 employees 200 of them and if I've deemed, if we've deemed, if Tina, who runs our creative department, mm -hmm. deems that this person is bringing us quality, I think one thing that a lot of people try to do is mold them into being more efficient. I've done that plenty of times in my career. One of the things I've decided now is to look at it more as a net-net game, right? You know, I may not like that they need to be in a zen room with unicorns in it. I may not, but if I'm okay with the output, All right? If I'm okay, net net, 365 right, day year right, right. output, I'll take it, right? You could have the most prima donna creative, but if they do that one thing that you decide drives the ROI, on the flip side, you could have somebody who's the most efficient but lacks the magic. What you have to really do is, it's wide receivers in football. Listen. They're at the mercy of the quarterback getting them the ball. That's why they, they don't get to touch the ball. The quarterback touches the ball, the running back touches the ball when it's the calls played. The receivers don't, so many variables. And it's, I'm very intrigued by that psychology. That being said, you know, I value speed and execution mm -hmm. over everything. And so I definitely sit on that Mendoza line if there's a coin toss. If I'm even debating it, if I'm even debating your value as a creative over the efficiency and the output, you're in trouble. Look, uh, one, well, that's, that's sensational. One of the things, <laughs> no, it Thank is. You, Jack. But one of the things that really can kill a company is the innovators sit over here in a box. And they're Thomas Edison, and they're Steve Jobs, the and they're these people. And then everybody else, keep your head down and be a grunt. Yeah. You lose the minds of these people. 100%. Right. You want everybody to be an innovator. Right. 100%. And, and, and it's interesting, here at Vayner, we're a classic agency. We want more practicality from our creatives, and we want our account strategists being creative, and right. it's been a big benefit for yes, us. Right. And it, you know what else it does? It creates mutual respect. Absolutely. Because when the innovators are over here, they sit on a higher ground, right. yeah. and, it, and it deflates the momentum and the equity. Right. Amen. Right. Anytime yeah. you get prima donnas in an organization, it elevates everyone around.